Sadiq, you remember I was talking to you about my friend the other day at the library when I was asking for a book. Yeah. Now there was this guy in my college, okay? His name was Jallaj. But we called him Nirlaj. Bulate the. He had this weird habit of shamelessly jumping into any kind of discussion that we girls used to have and simply divert the topic to some book or some novel that he would be reading those days. And trust me, he would be knowing about every book, every novel, any book that you can think of under the sun. He just knew about all of them. And I used to wonder like how? Like how did he manage the time to read every book, every novel? Like he just name a book and he knew about it. There was this guy who had a pretty normal routine. Come to college, attend lectures like all of us. Like here, sitting in the canteen, have fun, roam in the evenings, and yet somehow manage the time to read all the books. You know, then what I did? One day, I caught him with his Google search history. You know what he used to do? He used to search for every book, the titles of the books or the novels. He used to literally memorize the character names, the chapters, pick up a few quotes from here and there, and obviously research on those quotes, try to decode their meanings, interpret their meanings. And that's how he would put up this false show and masquerade as if he knew everything and just randomly start talking about every book. Crazy, isn't it? Bichara. You know what he did? Finally, <laughs> there were like 20 of us, just may say 8 of them were girls. Hum sab ke saamne, he finally admitted that yes, he did it deliberately to impress us girls. <laughs> it was such a deliberate attempt on his part. Such a shameless guy he was. He did it deliberately and he literally admitted that like yes I did it deliberately like obviously he wasn't making any eye contact with all of us like aha I used to do it deliberately to impress all of you you girls you pretty girls but uh, he stopped talking to me like he kind of avoided me I mean Obviously, I kind of get it, like he must have felt really humiliated and he avoided me for the next one year and a half, you know. I don't know about that, about the nightmares, but I did try to patch up with him, you know. I kind of went up to him, apologized to him and said like, look, I am sorry, Jalaj. But he was like this stubborn guy, you know. Mostly he was immature, occasionally cute, but mostly very, very annoying. You can't really do much to get back to someone like him, you know. So I kind of like forgot it. And I kind of like let go of him. I'm like, forget it now. What's happened and happened. So Sadiq, you tell me, what are you up to these days? missing. Something just happened. Clearly, you don't want to talk about yourself, you know. You're trying to hide something, isn't it? Like you're just beating around the bush and not coming to your room. What's up with you? Aha! Alright then. Chalo, see you. Bye! Bye.